Hello traders, this is Dan Gibby at Master Trader, and in this weekly trade review, I'm going to show you a tactic that we use when we're trading options and trying to close them where we can actually get a free option trade and then potentially, in this example, I'm going to show you how we boosted it 25%. Let's start with just some basics here. When we sell puts, the put seller, we're receiving money, the premium, and we're assuming an obligation to buy the underlying stock on our, or ETF on or before expiration. So it's a win-win. We're either keeping the money as pure profit, the premium is always the maximum potential uh, gain, or you're buying the underlying cheaper, which is the short strike less premium received. So you're buying it on sale. And so I'm talking about stocks that you would like to own. So we sell puts or put spreads on any liquid stock or ETF using master trader strategies. This is what we do for speculation. I really don't want to own the underlying per se, but I'm speculating as what we call an income trade where the odds of the setup suggest that it's not going to close below that short strike on or before expiration. This is popular strategy, you know, Warren Buffett, uh, money managers, hedge funds, individuals like us, we, we sell options. Our strategy is to do it around the charts, of course, because that is our edge, and we generate this monthly income. And obviously, we have to manage these, these in between because you have the obligation to buy or sell the underlying. You can do, we do this as swing trading. We love selling short-term expiring options, particularly 10 days or less, even zero DTE, so you have no overnight gap risk. And you can even do these in a cash-secured retirement account. So if you want, you're trying to accumulate things in your IRA, this is a fantastic way to do it because this, this bullet number two, you're either gonna keep the premium as pure profit or you're buying the underlying cheaper. We also sell options into earnings with bullish setups using um, uh, multiple time frames, using master trader strategies. We have a very specific checklist that we go through. We teach it in our seminars. We do it in earnings season every afternoon in our, our live green trading room. Earnings or other pending news exists, then the premiums on the options are spiking. And if we have a bullish setup, we, I, I'm going to show you on a couple of examples. These, these are actual trades we did in the last week or two. We're getting very high premiums to sell far out of the money strikes. Just another review page here. Um, all, every one of these are bullish arrangement of candlesticks and, and then using our, the master trader concepts. We take these pictures, put them in the overall uh, trend, support and resistance, multiple time frames, relative strength, what's the broader market doing. And then we sell up this, this could be a naked put. We're selling a put under support, or you can do a put spread. You can take some of that money, buy a further out of the money put. The difference is the credit received. That's immediately deposited right into your brokerage account. That's your potential maximum gain. And you can either manage them in between or, as I said, if you don't mind taking assignment, you do nothing. And then at expiration, you either have full profit or you have stock assigned to you at a cost basis improvement. Here's a trade we gave to our subscribers last week in our weekly options trader where we just short options that expire 10 days or less. So I, I split this up into uh, four slides here. This format here, it's a closed trade. So this is in our closed spread sheet uh, for subscribers. And so you can see the history of, of everything here. So BROS. This was when we did it. We did our afternoon scanning of earnings that are coming out after the market or pre-market the following day. So I don't know which one this was. It just totally doesn't matter because we have to deal with the gap the following day. So this is a bullish pattern. Had a robust rally here, small little retracement above the 20, 50 period moving average. So what we then do in our checklist is say, okay, I have a bullish bias on this. We go to the option table and I say, how much are you gonna pay me? I kind of refer to that as the juice. 
how much juice are you going to give me and how far away can I get for how many days of risk? So in this example, we shorted the August 12, which was one day to expiration. August 12 was last uh, Friday. We put this on on Thursday. So we said, wow, we can go way down here under, under all of this support. We sold the $30 naked puts for 40 cents a share. So if you sell 10 of these contracts, $400 immediately is deposited into your account for you to keep forever, unless you decide to get out early. And you have an obligation to then buy a thousand shares of Brothers at $33. And if assigned, then your cost basis is $32.60, which is much, a whole lot cheaper than whatever this is at the time. Let's just call it $44. We give the, the stock, the date, the strategy, the technical setup. So pullback after breakout on the daily and weekly earnings are August 10, the following day. Note that we plan to hold over earnings since the strike is so far out of the money and under support and the 50 MA, but you have to assume the gap risk or else don't take the trade. The next day, with a positive gap, bid two cents to close and then move the stop. So we have moved the stop now under, under these, the, the low of these two bars. So we're in the trade. Now, it gapped up here's here's the opening real body it gapped up here and started rallying i sent out a telegram text alert and i'm, I'm going to show you the quotes here in a second i said buy the 41 dollar puts for five cents a share to lock in profits on the short put and get a free put debit spread dan what on earth does that mean okay so now let me show you here so th these were the option tables later on in the day. When the, when the stock is rallying after it gapped up, it, the volatility crush of these far out of the money puts were, got crushed. Remember, there's only one day to expiration. So these were bid zero. Look, and so you're all these zero, 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 zero by five cents. So we could have closed out our $33 puts by paying five cents a share. We sold them for 40, you booked 35 cents a share and you could have been done. But here's what I'm showing you, the common sense part of this lesson. Why, instead of buying this 33, why not buy a higher strike one for the same price? Now, like I said, these were later in the day, so they rose a little bit. But at the time, this $41 put was also zero by five cents. And then they started going a little higher. So that's why we, I, I sent out an instruction saying, buy the $41 puts the highest you can where it's the same price. That, that's what you do. Go as high as you can. So now what we are left with is we're still short our 33 and we're now long the 41 and as option trader knows that's what's called a bear put debit spread so i call it a free one because we've locked in our 35 cent share per share gain on this we're done we've locked it in now both of these could expire worthless and, and no, no, there's no problem. But we have this potential free put spread. Let's continue. So now we have this free put spread. I, I had, and whenever I get a free put spread, I just put a GTC order in to sell it at whatever amount I think I would, that would be a free fall, a, 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 a gift. And I was at the gym and I got an alert. So I had put an alert, GTC sell for 10 cents. Now remember, this is free money. And the reason I only picked 10 cents for such a wide spread is because it expired the next day and I just showed you all these that are worthless. 
So if I can get out of this at a, at a 10 cent gift when, when they're virtually worthless, that's what we did. I got an alert saying, Dan, you're filled at 10 cents on my free put debit spread. So that now increased our total profit, the 40 cents that we sold when we opened up the trade. I got another 10 cents. Guess what? 10 cents divided by 40 is 25%. So I increased my profit on this trade 25% for free, just using the common sense analysis that I'm showing you right now. A couple other I'm going to show you here. These are actual trades that I'm in right now, and just through this last uh, couple week or, or two trading these earnings. Um, I'm a very active option trader, and, and I love selling options and earnings too, but we have, as I said, a very specific criteria using the master trader approach on the ones that, that I'll do or not do. Uh, this season, I, I gotta go back and, and pull out my records, but I'm, I'm about 25 for 27 uh, of success. And that doesn't mean that I'm a mind reader, I'm a chart reader, but I'm not a mind reader. Many of these have gone against me the following day, but the trick, well, it's not a trick, it's a fact, it's a reality of why this strategy works with such high degree of success using our technical approach is because even if it goes against me, the volatility crush of the, of the high expensive options is greater than the directional loss of, of, of the underlying going against me. I'll show you a couple examples here. So I'm still in this one. I, I grabbed all these charts this morning over the weekend. So this one was a bullish pattern. I went through my checklist, CACC, and I said, wow, I can short the 460s way out of the money down here. I sold them for $2.50 a share. I did them naked. The reason I have this danger, danger sign here, this is an advanced strategy, what, I, what I'm showing you here on the next couple of slides, because they are illiquid options. So I'm getting into them by playing market maker, which means it's a crazy spread. I do not want our subscribers doing this. Only if you're very experienced. Do not do this at home by yourself. You can do it with my guidance in our live trading room, and, and many of us do, to, to great success and profit. So they, these are the ones I did, the 460, and it's based on the chart. And so if you see a, a, a quote here, zero by 460, you gotta, you, gotta, you gotta ask yourself, okay, I can start at low offer, maybe 430, maybe four, but you gotta, and I, I have this feel through experience of, of where I think I might get filled. So I actually had started off at, at um, $2.95. I didn't get filled. I dropped it 15 cents, I didn't get filled. I dropped it another dime, didn't get filled. I dropped it to 250, boom, the bell went off, I got filled. So I'm in it at 250. Here, the gap, this ugly, ugly red bar is earnings. It went against me. But look, my short strike is still so far away. I am still in this stock. I am, the options are illiquid to this day. I mean, you can count how many days I've been in this trade. The options are illiquid. I am still trying to close these. Uh, and I'm also I'm paying 20 cents for the 470s, uh, just like I did in Brothers to give me a free put spread if I'm filled. And how I play this game is I just look at what bid I would want for the strike to get filled. And so if this opened up like this on Monday, um, for example, it's, it's the weekend right now, I would bid 20 cents for these 520s. Why? Well, because I want to be high bid. And then if I get filled at 520, then I have a 520, 460, um, $60 wide free put spread. So that, that one, I'm still naked the 460s, seven, uh, seven days to expiration. This one, I see UI, this breakout, I, I sold way out of the money puts. This one here, I sold the 140s. Look, it's not even on the chart here. It's the, the 140s are way the heck down here. 
even with this nasty gap against me, I still had an open profit. But the problem is, that's why I'm saying, don't do this at the home, kids, by yourself. Because you can't get out. How are you going to get out of this thing uh, zero by 480? So that, that's the advanced part of this. And so, again, here you see zero bids, five, five cent bid here. Uh, so what I did in this one, I did get filled on the 145s bidding 10 cents. So just like with Brothers, I now have a free put debit spread. I'm long the 145s and I'm short the 140s, $5 wide. This, and then I immediately put in a good till cancel, sell to close my free put spread. In this one, I said, hey, if you give me 40 cents for a free put spread, that's total profit gravy, it's a gift. So that order's in there, GTC. This is one of our, our subscribers. He, he sent us this email. And th this is one beautiful thing of why we love selling options. I made money in the stock went against me. I've just shown you some examples. They don't, they're not even have to be earning stocks because of the way option pricing is. They have a natural uh, time decay to options. Option buyers are hurt by time. Option sellers are benefited. Uh, with time decay and volatility contraction. The weekly options trader only sells options that expire uh, 10 days ten days or less using this approach. Another one here, IT on this little breakout, I shorted the 230s, you see under support. Uh, again, you see how illiquid these are. Uh, this one, I, I did exactly what I'm teaching you here. I have, I have multiple bids out as high bid this particular day, I got filled on the 250s. So now I have a $20 wide free debit put spread. I have a GTC, whatever it is, for 40, 50 cents to close this one. That's why you see, you know, the, these colors right there of buying and selling. One more example. This one though was after a wide range bar on earnings. So th this one had a bearish gap, orally, immediately negated the gap and kept going to be a wide range breakout. So in this day, why volatility is still high, I, what I do, I say, how far, how low can I go? I shorted the 590s. Actually, I see that's, that's marked wrong. So the 590s should be up here more. Um, I, I marked the 570s, it looks like. Uh, so the 580, 5, 590s are right here, but still, look how far away it is. And, 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 many, and many of these times, I'll, I'll have multiple offers out. I might have done the, the 590s, 580s, 570s, 560s, and I go low offer to see which ones I get filled on first, and then I may or may not cancel the other ones. It, it depends if I want uh, multiple fills or not. This one, so I did get filled on my 610s by doing exactly what we've been talking about. So this one, I have a free $20 wide put spread, also expires in seven days, and I have a GTC on this, trying to get 50 cents out of that one. If you'd like to learn how to sell options around uh, the, the compelling patterns using the Master Trader strategies, go to mastertrader.com forward slash spread trader. And we have an advanced credit spread course. We have this amazing 12 module, very detailed course. And we also buy options using our approach because it gives you the benefit of leverage and limited risk. Hope that helped. Any questions, email me, dan at mastertrader.com, greg at mastertrader.com. Look forward to seeing you in the next trade review.